I'll start in my family first. You know, just uh, last year, my, uh, my kids' school told them that they had run out of paper and that all their homework had to be done by computer. Because the rest of our family uh, does not have the affordability of that bundle, we are the center where the other grandkids come, you know. So then we had a line of grandkids wanting to use the, you know, the computer because they all wanted to finish <coughs> their um, homework. You know. And then we represent about 40 uh, family members, you know, we, we live right there. And, you know, it's really a drain because uh, my PG&E as a result is extensive. So what I do is I uh, pay my insurance for them sometimes. I'll pay water at a, you know, other time. I'll pay garbage at another time. And then I'll pay PG&E a little bit at another time. And characteristically, the whole Central Valley is very, very poor. But it's really sad when I, uh, when I go to the local uh, library, there's, uh, uh, we live in a lower income, uh, working class uh, neighborhood. There's a high school and it's just packed with kids waiting for their turn to get at a computer. The, the kids that don't have laptops or computers at home do it during recess, during lunch, or while they're waiting for the bus. Uh, broadband and the availability of, of computers uh, is very, very important because those people are poor, where I come from, the whole Central Valley. All those little towns rate in the top 10 in poverty.